Hello, hello! Welcome to Lost in the Isle. If you're looking for an authentic Chinese grocery shopping experience, but not sure where to start or what to buy, then you've come to the right place. In this video, I'll be taking you on a tour of a Chinese grocery store, sharing some popular products and offering some tips for shopping. You can visit any Chinese grocery marketplace that's near you. The layout might be different, but the vibes and the products should be pretty similar. Shall we? Let's visit 88 Marketplace in Chicago. Located in the heart of Chicago's vibrant Asian community, the 88 Marketplace is home to an impressive array of Chinese, Japanese, Korean, and Southeast Asian products. From exotic fruits and vegetables to authentic Chinese snacks and dry goods, this market has it all. Most of the market would start with snacks and fresh products. You can find some pre-packed fresh vegetables and delicious fruits. And sometime you can find imported fruits and vegetables that cannot be found anywhere in the U.S. grocery store. We can see different kinds of tofu products. This coconut jelly has becoming very popular lately. Highly recommended. Miso and kimchi is also available here too. If you like hot pot and want to try it at home, you can find different varieties of hot pot soup base in the soup aisle. Spicy and non-spicy. Little Sheep is very famous in both China and U.S. Highly recommend. You can never skip soy sauce. Among all of those, I purchased Kim Lan the most. But there are differences between these two. Do you know why? The left one has a light on it. It tastes lighter and doesn't give too much color to your food. Good for salad or saute vegetables. The right one is darker. It tastes saltier and fermented longer. So most of the time is used to give stronger color to the meat. Good for braised meat. The fermented bean curd is a popular ingredient in Chinese cuisine, loved by many Chinese people. It is also my childhood memory. However, if you're not familiar with it, you may be wondering what it is and how it's used. This fermented bean curd is made from fermented tofu. It has a rich and savory taste that is both tangy and umami. Whether you're using it as a marinade, dipping sauce, or seasoning, this fermented bean curd is a versatile and delicious addition to any kitchen. Another must-buy product is Lao Gan Ma, which is already very famous in the Western world. Lao Gan Ma is a popular Chinese chili oil condiment that adds a spicy kick to any dish. Made with a blend of chili peppers, soybean oil, and spices, it has a unique and addictive flavor that complements everything from noodles to rice dishes. You can add this to anything you like. Salad, rice, stir-fry, braised meat, anything. You won't regret. Here comes tip one. If you're not sure what to purchase, never and never be afraid to ask people around you. They might just know what you are looking for. Even better, ask the customers around you. Now let's visit the freezer area. If you're a fan of dim sum, you know just how delicious and satisfying these bite-sized treats can be. And the good news is, you don't have to go out to a restaurant to enjoy them. Many grocery stores now carry a wide variety of frozen dim sum, from classic pork dumplings to steamed buns filled with sweet red bean paste. Dim sum from the freezer is a great option. If you're a fan of steam buns, you know just how satisfying these fluffy and flavorful treats can be. From classic red bean buns to savory pork buns, there are so many different varieties to choose from. And if you're feeling adventurous, you can even find some unique and unexpected flavors like matcha or chocolate. This is my favorite bun overall. If you like dumpling, look for this brand. It's very famous in China. You can find veggie dumplings too. I have to be proud of the soft drink sections. Tea, energy drinks, juice, sweet drinks, etc. You can find them all. If you like milk tea or bubble tea, look for this brand. Love it. And of course, you can find more on the fridge. If you're a fan of hot pot but don't have access to a stove or simply want a more convenient option, Heidi Lau's self-heating hot pot is the perfect solution. With its innovative self-heating technology, simply add water to the bottom of the pot and wait for it to heat up. No stove or electricity is required. It is perfect for camping, road trips, and other outdoor activities. With its easy-to-use self-heating technology, all you need is water to enjoy a steaming hot pot of your favorite ingredients, no matter where you are. Just follow the instruction and be aware of the steam. 88 Marketplace has a huge selection of rice, ranging from traditional white rice to more exotic varieties like black, brown, and even purple rice, including traditional white rice, fragrant jasmine rice, and sticky glutinous rice. Each type of rice has its own distinct flavor and texture, making it perfect for different dishes. Personally, I like multigrain rice. It would give me different kinds of rice altogether. Here comes tip two. Be adventurous. Don't be afraid to try new things. Asian grocery stores are a great place to discover new ingredients and products that you might not find in your local supermarket. Here come the snacks. There are four shelves of them. Tao Su, also known as peach blossom pastry, 
is a traditional Chinese dessert that originated in Beijing. This brand was established in 1895 back in Qing Dynasty, and still very famous and popular among local people. Tao Su was made with layers of flaky pastry and sweet bean paste filling. It is a delicate and delicious treat that is perfect for any occasion. Each pastry is carefully crafted by skilled bakers using only the finest ingredients, ensuring a perfect balance of texture and flavor. Whether you're a fan of traditional Chinese desserts or simply looking for something new to try, Tao Su is a must try. If you are looking for something healthier but also tasty, tofu snacks are the best option that you can find in many Chinese grocery stores. One thing I love the most is that you can always see new snacks on the shelves. And some of those are really popular in China, Japan, and Korea. And every time I would be amazed by how many new products I see. Most importantly, snacks would change with each season based on the lunar calendar. So it would give you a lot of joy to explore. I hope this video would help you with what to purchase. If you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe.